Hey everybody, and welcome to the Ultimate Guide to Drawing Faces. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to draw the planes of the head and the face. Okay, so let me do a quick drawing here of a face with all the planes identified. Now, why is this important? Well, the face is very detailed, as I'm sure you know. And as you draw it, it's easy to get lost in those details, especially if you do any rendering, which we haven't talked about much, but of course is going to come up at some point. You're gonna have to do a little rendering and detail work. Now, Understanding where the planes are and the big simple shapes is integral because basically the head is a sphere, right? And if it gets all jumbled up and lost in details, that's not going to work. It's not going to do. And all that effort you put into rendering is going to be to no avail because it's not going to hold together as a whole. Okay, so what we're looking at here is for the most part the main planes of a head. So I'm going to fill these in a little bit. Okay, so we have the front plane, which is all this area here, and all this area here, it's the front plane of the face. Now the side plane occurs from the top of the brow, and this is the brow here, around the back and then also from the cheekbone down to the side of the chin. Now, the reason I didn't fill this in solid gray is because depending on the person's face, this could be move a little more towards the front plane or a little bit more towards uh, the side plane, depending. Um, but generally, this is more considered the side plane of the face here. So this whole entire shape right there. Understanding that, is very, very beneficial, especially as you make marks on a face. What do I mean by that? We'll say you're inking a head, right? Right, and you put the chin. Okay, so you have that shape there. If you want to make a few more marks on here to suggest some structure to the head, make a mark there. Well, what is that? That's the suggestion where the side plane of the face is turning into the chin. So maybe by making that mark, that's very helpful. You can make another mark that either goes in this direction here, and that's just suggesting this section here, or you can make another mark that goes like that, and that's suggesting the side plane can do another one there and then you know finish off the head like that so actually knowing where those planes at at all times no matter if you're doing a pencil drawing an ink drawing a painting is absolutely essential so let's do this uh, from an even simpler breakdown so from the front How's that going to look? Well, basically, I'm 
gonna look just like that. Now, a really good artist to look at for this, might surprise you, is Mike Mignola. He is the artist for Hellboy. Now the Hellboy comic is interesting because it's so simple and so graphic. But if you look at some of his drawings, they're very planar based. He's only really drawing the planes and that's where all his shadow decisions occur. So if you really want to study this and see creative ways to use the planes of the face, this would be a great way or a great uh, artist to look at. Uh, in my anatomy classes, no matter if the student is a realist artist or potentially wants to be a comic artist, I have them copying Mike Mignola drawings and everyone is very enthusiastic with what they learn from that because he's just a master of the planes. So again, let's draw the head from three quarters. Like that. And there we have it. There's the side plane here. And then if we were to put in the side plane of the nose, that would be right about there. Alright? So let's do a little more detailed drawing and we can see how we can use this information. So I'll block it in with pencil. front plane of the nose, bottom plane of the nose, side plane, the dip in the brow, eyebrow, okay, get the mouth in there. Side plane of the brow. Okay, the entire side plane of the face is right there. Now remember the cheekbone that I was talking about at the very beginning as far as the skull is concerned? Now how did, how did that go? It went like that, and then it went like that, and that's where the teeth were, right? You can see I just basically drew that in that form. You see how much information that conveys? That's where that uh, the side plane of the face goes. Right there. Put the ear. Bring in some information we learned earlier. Right. 
And then if I was to fill in some of these marks, Assuming the light is coming towards this direction. Cast shadow there. Cast shadow from the chin, side plane. And we can take this a lot farther, but basically, see how this information is important. help visualize the structure of the face and then eventually when we render uh, it's essential to understanding how to render the face. Alright so the main ones right we have the side plane of the face we have the um, plane that moves from the cheekbone and it moves from there to the side of the chin and we have the brow which goes pretty much straight across and we have the side plane of the nose the whole entire front plane of the face here. If you like this video, please help us by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Tell us which videos are your favorites or give us suggestions about what you'd like to see in the next video. And if you'd love to join a private community of dedicated artists, come check us out at PencilKings.com where we help artists from all over the world improve their artwork every single day.